Jason, Willie Bowie Bouncer. Hey, I'm Jimmy Cameron. I'm Deep Hacks. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Cody. And I'm Eric Cat. We're Big Hill Media. What's up, y'all? I'm Cash Lakeroy. Hi, I'm Paul Wolf. This is Laney. I'm Christy. I'm Charlotte Brown Jr. I'm Maddie Moon. Welcome to the Hill. 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 what is up everybody welcome to the hill my name is nick and uh i'm sorry y'all didn't mean to blast you with the with the volume there uh how is everybody man i haven't seen y'all in a few um you know we're in the off season right now so there's a whole lot of buggy building and and planning going on there's so much that goes into the next season right so we're just finishing up and it's like you get that deep breath and you just feel good because you had a great season and then you realize that you only have a month and a half or so to completely accomplish everything that you're going to set out to be better for the next season um i have the absolute honor it is my honor it is such a pleasure a blessing however you want to look at it that I get to speak with, hang out with, whatever you want to call it, uh, some of the most talented people in the world. I'm going to say it, in the world, all right? I'll put any of these guys that come on this show up against any, you know, I, I watch racing all over the world, man. I, I just love racing. And, uh, man, I'll put any of these guys, any of these these regulars that I, you know, that I, I uh, see every every time we go to the races, um, I'll put them up against anybody. My guest tonight, uh, I had the honor of meeting earlier this year. It was freezing cold. We were in Kentucky at Rush Off Road Park. It was uh, two events going on at one time. Ultra 4 was there, uh, and they were doing their survival style racing that they do up through the woods um some of the biggest names in ultra four were there to include my guest today uh and i just kind of uh we just kind of ran into them because i was setting up cameras and and getting everything and and we ran into the team and man i was welcomed 
uh, with open arms and I got to, you know, get the walk around of the buggy, uh, their, their new machine that they had, uh, new Can-Am and, and it was just cool, man. I, I felt like I was in a, a race car shop. I felt I, I was in the pits and I, I love that feeling. So listen, uh, let's get it started here tonight. I, I don't even, I don't even need to, to, uh, introduce them, but, uh, we got the whole team here y'all uh but jamie mccoy how are you sir welcome we're doing really good thanks for having us good deal man hey let's just uh i just want to make sure everybody at home that um you can hear us okay uh i don't want anything to be missed as far as uh, this episode goes uh i got the music down there um and uh Usually we get a few folks that, that give us a, a heads up. For, well, we got some guys checking in here. Sam Ball uh, saying hello. Uh, Kelly Eggering is is watching. Take it to the top is uh, is watching with us. Sam Ball says planning for 2022. Can't wait. Kyle Harrison watching. Nathan Paris. Anthony Muncy. MRT tires in the house. We're going to talk about that. Uh, Sam Ball giving us a thumbs up for sound and Papa Poe says they ugly. We, we, but, but we can hear you. Hey, listen, um, do you, do you guys mind, uh, doing a quick around the room? Jeremy, do you mind starting back there and, and just kind of introduce yourselves real quick? Jeremy Dickinson, uh, Eric Ballard, uh, John Boy Arnold, Jamie McCoy. Yes, sir. Uh oh, somebody's but stealing Gary's his car. <laughs> Gary comes, comes in with the alarm. Is somebody's car being stolen? Now we're in the mood. Yeah. Gary's back. <laughs> Gary Hinkle. All right, y'all. Thank you for that. Uh, my cousin, David Siemens, joining us from all the way up there in wintry Maine. So listen, we have people that are watching uh, from all across the country, y'all. Maine, Maine to California. Um, Jamie, you have quite an extensive history in racing off-road, uh, and we have a ton of to cover because of that um but can you just give us a real quick you know you are a i don't know however old you are kid and you get into racing or whatever how, how did you get started um you know as a kid like you're saying uh, I, I didn't uh, didn't really have enough money to do much racing so uh, i raced my first motorcycle race at the age of 26 and um uh, went as hard and fast as I could realized that, uh, after having a baby girl, maybe I ought to do something different. And, uh, so I started trail riding a little bit on a, on a buggy and, um, uh, Gary was, uh, saw a little poster or something out somewhere and said there was a race somewhere. And, uh, he said, Hey, would you like to go do it? And I'm like, Gary, this thing's got 3000 miles on it and the tires are bald. And, you know, we, you know, I don't even know if we got what, what it takes to go race, but, uh, so we loaded up on a little flatbed trailer and headed out and that that's where it started. That's epic. Uh, um, definitely understand about the, the little girl there. I, I have kids myself. Um, uh, I would love to race, uh, but I love my, what I do right now. And, and uh, I'm nice and safe, and I can bring the kids along. That's uh, that's what I do like about uh, this style of racing, too. Does your daughter get to come and watch you race? Well, my wife traveled with me and Gary uh, for over 20 years. Um, and uh, Kelly said she's not really to get back ready to get back into the race scene. But um, hopefully she'll get to make some this year. Absolutely. Uh, and, I mean, I'm, I'm sure with some of the coverage she gets to see something. Um you know, uh, Ultra Four co uh, covers racing pretty pretty good these days. You know, um, the, the how I met you was I was doing the live feed for um, Clyde Bynum in, in the National Rock Racing Association, uh, working in uh, with in in uh, working laterally with uh, Ultra Four and Pro Rock for that event. You know, um, but anyway. Uh, uh, Levi Metzinger says, yeah, uh, Pappy Jamie and the G-Force CA Tech team. <laughs> Robbie Elliott checking in. Uh, Jamie McCoy Racing Development says, what's up? <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> hey, listen, uh, we got a bunch of people watching. So, um, yeah, that, that pretty much brings us up to current and this team that we have sitting right here. Um, Jamie, you've got some big names in the sport sitting in that room with you. You know, that that's a uh, that is a lot of support. And how do you how do you manage that? How, what tell us about a, a a normal race prep week? Well, I'm uh, to get back to the um, how you put your life and, and what you do. Um, you know, I'm self employed, and uh, you know, there's customers that's come in and shop with me for over 30 years, and they they say, you know, I'm really glad to see what you've done with it and and how far you've taken it, and uh, and I I, I tell tell the same story with uh with work and racing and uh you, you surround yourself by good people and you will be successful if you give an effort so um this crew i got got behind me right here um you know uh you know i'm not saying that we get to talk like we used to get to talk but um you know business is pretty good for the g4ca um uh, guys right now uh me and John's kind of doing the same thing we've always done. We could, we could talk about as much as we used to, but um, but these guys are pretty busy right now, uh, gearing up for the hammers. These guys are they're working uh, they're working full tilt. So um, you know, uh, prep on the cars. You know, we're in the off season right now, so we're doing a bunch of testing. So you know, it's pretty easy. You know, we don't switch out as much stuff. Um, we're, we're kind of seeing how long stuff will last. You know, so we can make some notes on that, but. But um, you know when it uh, when we get geared up, they're uh, they're all hitting a lick. I'll tell you that. So we've we've seen you guys out testing already. Right, um, how how's everything going? It's going really good. We're uh, we're testing a new tire for MRT there uh, called the Desert Storm, and um, I uh, I was a little bit leery when I went out with it. You know, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is the one or not, and. Um, so we did some footage and uh, Jerry we, uh, did the video for us and stuff. And he just, every time we stopped, he's like, man, I can hear that tire digging. It's, it's really doing good. So um, I only had a few of those. So at the end of the day, I really tried to just see if I could bust one. And uh, um, so far I got no flats, um, but you know, that's a, that's a big part of racing rocks is if you get a tire that's, you know, that can take that kind of punishment. So, um, uh, as of now, that's the tire that I'll be on at the Hammers. You know, that's our next race. So um, we've got uh, we've got a little bit more testing to do. We're uh, really, really close. Um, Pete and Gary has made a couple changes that we got want to do, but uh, the weather has set in on us a little bit. That's why we were pushing so hard every weekend. You know, it, it's uh, uh, once the rain starts setting in here and then it gets cold at night, it's hard to hard to find. You know, um, the type of testing that we need for for out west. Uh, just to pause, and, and I know it's changing the subject, but did y'all get uh, any of that weather? Did it hit any any of y'all? No, okay. no, it was all north, north and uh, west. I guess okay. we 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 didn't get any of it. Yeah, yeah, still uh, uh, tough to hear. I hate hate to hear that. I, I know that we got friends and uh, family, really. If you, if you look at it that way, uh, that are all over that area, so. Um, hate to hear about that stuff, but anyway, uh, so yeah, talk about rocks, man. You guys are going to the land of rocks. It, it is how many times have you run the hammers? Once, once, okay. And uh, and uh, you have a uh, pretty experienced co driver sitting right behind you there. Yeah, he laid that course out a few times, so I hope, hope I got an ace in the hole. I think I do, yeah. That's why I say that this team is is pretty pretty special. Jeremy, you have uh, uh, your hands in helping Ultra Four, the National Rock Racing Association. You're working with you know one of the biggest names in UTV racing. You know, um, tell us about the the uh, prep. What do you what's do you have to prep because you know that area so well out there to be his co-driver? Yeah close my eyes and guess <laughs> yeah. that's the navigation come on yeah 
No, McCoy's, uh, whenever I got asked last year to race the Hammers, honestly, I felt like I was stepping on John Boy's toes. Because John Boy's been in there tried and true, right? You know, they, they're ride or die, put it that way. They're, they're the bad boys, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, it was, it was, I was skeptical to step into that one just because I didn't want to break that team up. But, you know, all in all, John Boy said, go for it, run it. And, you know, McCoy needed to be comfortable as a driver. And we, we put in some miles last year pre-running for sure. Good. I mean, Lee Nav, Damian over at Lee Nav had me covered all day and helped out a lot. And um, just some unfortunate circumstances of some uh, gas got us out of finishing. But um won't happen this year for sure. We're coming after it. I think y'all took a brand new car and put 378 miles on a brand new X3. Yeah. We had about 500 miles total pre-running yeah. last year. Yeah. Was that more of a stock machine, Jamie, or how how was that? Was it? No, that was. A, uh, we we did all our pre running on a bone stock car. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, RC shocks car. Shocks and tires. Yeah, we had shocks and tires. Okay. And um, but then you know we had a we had a race car too. So yeah, absolutely. And I was thoroughly impressed by Can Am stock. <laughs> Definitely, man. Um, my experience with the National Rock Racing Association and the UTV stock class, uh, pod- at podium, every every podium was one Can Am or a full sweep. All Can Ams. They're yeah. they're straight up race cars right out of the box. Um, Gary, uh, you know you've been huge in uh, Jamie's race program here, going into hammers taking all of that knowledge that you have uh this has got to be a blast for you this has got to be a lot of fun oh it's a ton of fun i mean we you know all the racing we we started racing utvs together back in 2013 and kind of touched on a little bit in 2012 so every year you know going from rally raid four-hour events you know all we learned there taking the gncc you know working with new sponsors working with you know new cars uh, I think it was 2016 going into 2017 season. We, you know, got, you know, tied in with Can Am, and, you know, we were at that time, Jamie was the only player that was on the podium, you know, with the Can Am boys. So, uh, you know, we had a, you know, the blessing to get, you know, picked up with Can Am and, you know, that was in the older, you know, OG style chassis and things. And then we, we're able to work into this new X3 platform and the X3 platform is just an unbelievable car. And, you know, to see the transformation and then, you know, as we come from GNCC racing and then move into ultra four and move into some pro rock and things like that. So, you know, with my business, you know, not only working with Jamie, but, you know, Jamie, a lot of times is the test guy behind a lot of things that happen at G force because, what Jamie and I and Pete do and, you know, Jeremy and John, a lot of this, you know, it, it filters out to the rest of the field. These other guys out here winning races and championships, you know, a lot of this technology and tunes and setups comes off of what Jamie, you know, his feedback, you know, we go up here and test and we start figuring what's working, what's not working. So, you know, that that's, you know, one of the things that Jamie is such a big, you know, part of, of what we do. Um, but going into hammers, you know, Jamie really wanted to put some time in this year to, you know, go hit some rocks. You know, he went down to South Carolina, hit the sand uh, up here on the property, you know, just running regular XC style, you know, loops and, and climbing some hills and some fast stuff. And I, I think with, you know, the setup we've got now with some of Pete's new technology with the pump systems and things and some of the regular setups we tested, uh, the new tires. You know, I think this year we're really, really prepared. And I think Jamie feels pretty comfortable going into, you know, this 2022, you know, race. Um, you know, we had had a pretty good year this year. You know, what did did some, you know, big wins with Ultra 4. Had a couple races that didn't go as well. Uh, went to Crandon, won a good day at Crandon uh, this year with Ultra 4. And then, uh, you know. Red Bull, Red Bull you know, won the Red Bull race this year at uh, the, the Stone uh, Scramble there at Brimstone. Had a really good race there. Uh, and I think Eric was the co-pilot there. Uh, you know, that was a really tough race on them. 
uh, with the rain and the mud. And uh, but but I think when the you know when the race was over, you know these guys, you know even though they couldn't see and everything going on, it just shows how tough that Can Am X3 car is. Yeah. I mean they, you know, I think they were running lap times about five minutes faster than anybody else. Yep. It's just go to shots. <laughs> I have to take credit for that. That's just such a plush ride. <laughs> I, I, uh, it's not I, all plush, but they got it done. I want I want to hear from CA Tech for a second. Uh, first of all, Jamie, uh, just hearing from you guys, you know, kind of we're going around the room right now and what everybody's bringing to the table. You know, uh, it it is exactly how successful any success story is. Is this right here? Is this glue and this? You know, y'all have a passion for racing and y'all have your lane and you stay in it and you do your absolute best at, at what you're doing. Um, CA Tech, man, I have seen you guys. You guys sponsor the National Rock Racing. Again, the National Rock Racing Association. Uh, I know you sponsor a ton of drivers and help uh, help guys out. Um, man, uh, tell us about how CA Tech and, and Jamie McCoy Racing Development – has meshed together and how it's been made you guys as successful as you you have been i guess one of the things um one of the things with that was actually i, I would say is largely contributed to gary um i remember when he first reached out to me i think he'd probably seen some of our parts components on other people's rides whether it been you know drivers or people that are just there to rock to, to watch the event and uh I remember whenever he called me, the conversation we had, he was talking about, you know, what they do and who they are and all this other stuff. And his words were literally, I skipped it, seeing a CA Tech stuff. I got to have some of that. You know, that, that was Gary's exact words. Uh, and then uh, one, uh, when I met them the first time, you know, I really felt like they had something special. You could tell that they, you know, they knew what the other one was going to say. They knew what they were going to do. They knew how they were going to act. Uh, they have been doing it for a long time. And, and, and I really liked that a lot. And uh, <clears throat> we were we were a really young company at the time. Uh, we came on the scene mid 2017, and uh, actually met Gary and Jamie and uh, and John Boy. Um, I guess it would have been early 18, early to mid spring of 18. I guess it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know from there it was just been wildfire. So uh, we've had we've had issues with failures along the way. Uh, I think that anybody's going to have failures anybody's gonna have some issues it's part of the learning process it's part of figuring it out doing it um, but then the thing that they have always done is they've always stuck by me you know when we've been fixing those issues sure. um, you know sometimes you got to step back away from it and say hey, I've got a race program to deal with we're gonna work on this other stuff but I've, I've, I've you know I've still got this to do but we've always we've always circled back to that um, and, and and that's been huge so and every opportunity you know a conversation just came up the other day uh, uh, Jerry, uh, Gary was talking to a customer about some product and Jamie said, Hey, does, is that something we get from CA tech? Um, and, and which is huge for them to always bring it up in conversation mm -hmm. for, you know, uh, that, that, that's really, that's really, really big for us. And then it gives us the ability to, uh, learn how to make a better product for the end user. You know, the the regular trail rider that, that might be out there gets the same product or a very, very similar product that we're going to run on the race machine. Yep. Um, and, and so that's that's helped us out exponentially is that we're always on the forefront of figuring it out. And if we come up with a new idea, we try it on the race rig, you know, like he's talking about with shocks or tires or whatever else it may be. Yep. Uh, we find out where the weak spot is, we fix it, and then the end user gets a better product yep. because of it. So Absolutely. That is they, amazing. They've been really good. Yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about. That, that, is, uh, that is how this style racing gets better. <laughs> and better and better uh john what are you going to be doing if you're not going to be riding shotgun oh uh, well what i always do is important but <clears throat> this year a friend of mine asked if i was could ride with him maybe you know, I know eric's going to you know jump in with jamie and um uh, do a great job and uh cody martin was looking for a driver i'm like man i really don't think i'm your best bet but if you need someone to sit in there i can probably do it so mm -hmm. um i'll be definitely with these guys getting the car ready to go and then you know a helmet on and jump in another car i guess yep but back to what eric and them were saying about his parts you know i was saying just now i said if uh, if it could be tested and broke jamie mccoy can do it so <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the test dummy he pushes a limit <laughs> i know i know and and uh i definitely want to talk about that for a second but real quick there's 
a few people in the chat just uh, checking in. Miss Dirt Princess Seven says great group of people. Michael Patterson checking in. Trip Pullen says champ. Uh, and Pete Libby says hey guys. Um, then we got uh, Phil Horner checking in. Nelson Deason, Robbie Neal, Carla Marshall Arnold. Uh, Cody Quattlebaum says, good luck at Hammers, Jamie. Show them what the East Coast can do. Got a good picture on course of you beating my car in Tennessee. See you in course in 2022. <laughs> yeah. Talk about Trip. We're glad to glad to see and hear oh, Trip's yeah. doing well. Yes, sir. You know? Yep. Agreed. So, yep. He's coming yeah. back, Danny. Yep. yep. We miss him. Part yep. of the part no, of the last week, you can see him. Yep. Good. Excellent. Um, Daniel Rents, uh, sorry, Daniel Rents says, "Awesome group, uh, awesome group of people." Go, go show out, boy. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where they get that saying from, but he would always come up to the car right before I get ready to race. He wasn't at that last one, you know, and I always, I missed that here. Yeah. He said, "Go show out, McCoy." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Rents says, "Awesome group of guys." Robbie Neal says that Jamie guy is a bad dude. <laughs> Miss Carla says love these guys. Tanner Brown, CA Tech is the only way to go. Um, Jay Barry, go get them, boys. Carla says Jewel says hi, Uncle John. Um, and Trip says thanks, guys. See y'all at Hammers. No doubt. <laughs> uh, well, listen, um, Jamie, this. Uh, this race team goes right along with the style of living that I was used to when I was in the military there recently. Uh, uh, Miss, I think your daughter is checking in, Jamie. So she's watching. That's very cool. Very cool. Say hello to Mike. Hey, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. She says hi, Daddy. Um, yeah, so... I love how you guys come together and I got to know um, where I ask a lot of these guys that because there is a lot of sacrifice. I know you, you said you're an entrepreneur, so you're running your own business and you're running uh, that. And I'm sure that you're running the race program and, and, and uh, everything the same way. But um, uh, what drives you to do this, man? What drives you to push those cars and break parts? And you know what I'm saying? Where does that come from? Um, I, I just like to drive, man. I, I um, you know, just give me something. That's what I tell them all the time. Just, just give me something. I, I just, I have a, I don't know what it is. I just, I like to race too. I mean, I, I, uh, um, a lot of times I'll have a really good outing, and uh, we get in the truck and we don't get, we don't get out of the complex, and I'm saying like, man, I think we can make that better. You know what are we going to do the next time and i think that's the driving thing is you know i got to do so much testing for gary so you know on the way home we're always critiquing something like you know like hey man what if we would have tried that you know and i think that's what keeps us a little bit on the edge and and um you know uh gary tunes for a lot of fast guys and um you know sometimes i get it a race or so before them but um, they all know about it, and so you know we don't hold anything back from them. He gets exactly they get exactly what what I got, um, and um, you know a lot of times they will they will call and talk to me and ask my opinion on it, and um, you know I, I tell them the same thing. Don't don't hold back from Gary. You know if you're if you're going to go slow, tell him you're going to go slow. If you're going to go fast, tell him you're going to go fast. He can tune that accordingly. But but um, you know I just. Just very blessed, man, to be able to do this. I'm 56 years old, and uh, I'm, you know, I say it all the time. I'm just living a dream, you know. I, uh, I, uh, the time that's taken away from uh, uh, business and family and, and and those type of things, you know. So I, I try to work extra hard, um, and when I get done with this, I try to drive extra fast to get back to see my family. So that is. Um, you know, that's the most important thing. It's hard to take time away um, from um, all of our families to do this. Um, but um, it's also a lot of fun. And, and um, there's just an amazing bunch of people that comes behind us, you know, and 
came up, Ken Am stepped up to the plate. We just signed our contract. I guess it was uh, Friday. Friday. Um, you know, we was uh, late into the game again. Um, but um, I guess they think I have a little bit left. So you know, we're 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 back on we're back on the table. But um, we're going to uh, we're going to show out, as Trip says. We 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 we're going to race some races this year. So uh, this is. Uh, um, it's really neat, man, to be able to do it. I got, um, you could come and look at my cars and, um, I will tell you every part that's on there, why I run it. Um, and I've always said this, if, if I think there's a better part out there, um, we'll go buy it. Um, but what's on my car, I think is the best there is in, in the business. Yeah. So, um, you know, at any time in our pits, you know, um, we uh, wherever we park, it's not long that there's four or five cars jacked up or seats out of them and this and that. And, you know, the majority of the time my crew's working on them and I'm saying, hey, John, man, when are we going to do this? What about my car? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, does my car need anything? You know, or I'm like, Gary, man, are we good? Yeah, you're good, man. And I'm like, um, so, you know, uh, going back to that, it's, it, um, you know, it's just it's a big family and, um, you know, it, we're we're family until the gate drops and the gate drops. I'm going to use you for traction if that's what I got to do. And that's, that's my motto. I go, I, I want to win every one I win. Never quit. And, um, you know, ain't got no quit in me for an old guy. So, um, it's, it's really neat, man. It's, it's, uh, it's really good that I can, uh, still be able to do this for sure. Man. Um, Anthony Muncy, uh, MRT tires says, wants to say thanks for an amazing year. Uh, we're happy to have you on uh, our team, Anthony Muncy, uh, checking in, man. Um, MRT Tires is just, again, another amazing company. Uh, and the fact that you know you guys are testing tires for them and stuff like that, that's very cool stuff. Well, they've got a great to work with. They're all, yeah. they're all super good. Guys. You know, Anthony here on yep. the East Coast and, yep. and, you know, you got – or Mark and everybody in the West we've met, you know, we got to meet Mark and then we went out and raced Reno at the Nationals yeah. last year, the year before. Uh, yeah, meet, meet all these guys. I mean, it's just, you know, in a lot of this stuff in motorsports and off-road, I mean, these these we build these relationships and it it's a lot of family environment. I mean, that's that's how I, I try to treat a lot of our business here at G-Force with everybody, with the racers and the the customers. I mean, it's it becomes like family and friends. I mean, that's you know, not just a number, not just a, you know, an invoice, you know, and it's, uh, you know, everybody wants to go out and have fun on the weekend and, and, and you know, have a great time. And, you know, uh, times are tough out there for everybody. You know, I, I kind of, I really look at that stuff when people are, are paying me to do a job, you know, we're, we're trying to do the best we can do for them. You know, and that's, I, I know how Eric, you know, he runs his business that way. You know, John runs a business. I know he looks at stuff like that too. So, uh, you know, we, we've always been involved in racing and off-road and stuff like that. And, and that's kind of just where our life passion's always been. So here we are still, you know, and it's, uh, you know, with G-Force, we've been able to uh, bring Pete, you know, from Noss Suspension, had his own company in California. He moved his whole family across the country here to Tennessee with us. And he's becoming, you know, a, a really strong in, instrumental, you know, part to my business working with me and, and helping to where we can bring new things to the suspension world and UTVs and off-road. And, you know, he's really been helping with the race team with, you know, Jamie, him and Jamie have been riding and testing. I mean, that's who's been in the car. Uh, so, you know, each and every day, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have guys like that that come work with me to help everybody else, you know. Yeah. So, uh, I, I keep smiling because Papa Poe says, ask John about Moab. <laughs> that's what we just, that's what we just, <laughs> that's what we're laughing oh. in the background. Uh, so we went to, we went to Moab for Ultra 4. Ultra 4 event, yeah. yeah. Uh, BFE, and uh, we had a list too, I think it was Gary and Jamie both saying, oh, Art said Mohab, yeah. not an H on Mohab, you know. I said, Jamie. John Arnold just touched it that way. You know, I spelled it wrong, and Jamie said, that's how Gary spelled it, and that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's have your boys back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was kind of crazy. Uh, you know, I, I put Jamie, Jeremy in the car because you, know, you don't know how many more years Jamie's going to do this. So, you know, <laughs> I was kind of like, you know, he's going to go to King of Hammers and hate it. You know, but yeah. He needs the best weapon he can get. So. But we, uh, but that did good. We're, we're racing rocks now, but I, 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 I keep forgetting about this story. And I think I spoke to you about it before, you know, and, and back in the day, we would, we would go 15 feet out of the way and run over a tree and, uh, get it up on its side, do everything just to miss one rock, you know? And then, you know, the following year we come out on 26 inch tires and I'm like, Gary, I ain't running on the big tires, man. I can't go across them rocks. So, you know, <laughs> you know, so we, after destroying a totally destroying a frame on a car, um, you know, finally I started going up in size on tires, but you know, you, you, uh, you have a feel for what the car likes and what I like, and it's just really hard to change that. But, you know, back in the day we would, you know, that was a part, um, part of one of two, <laughs> one, a part of one of John's saying, say, man, remember that rock up here, you know? <laughs> And like now we're just plowing right Two, through it. 2019 so. Ultra Four Championship was on 27 inch tires huh. on a Can Am X Tire Championship too. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Tire was too. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Both, they yeah. would just laugh at me, and there we was on them little big tires. It was pretty funny. They didn't even put the air on the tires. Yeah, to, 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 yeah. to measure them. Yeah, yeah. 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 go on that. So, so yeah. you you both had me set up a course on the private property. <laughs> like, hey, I, need to, I need to race some rocks. I need to get used to rocks. And then I was filming them that day. And next thing I know, I go look at their tracks and they avoided every rock. McCoy's <laughs> 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 like, I can't go through that. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's a it's car. It's because rock, rocks are a little sharper than those. Yeah. Yeah. No head rocks. Always. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. 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 Let me go through rocks. We have a lot of good times. We went to Moab, as they call, as, as they call it, like there, and, and you know, like the first time me and John was pre-running, we go up over the top of this thing, and I'm like, golly, man, you know, what is on the other side? This, you know, the rock was as big as a house, and, and uh, but man, I've got to see some really cool stuff, and and you know, uh, um, you know, I, I, I switch out with John, and Jeremy, and, and Eric there, you know, co-driving and this and that, and that was John's choice. Um, last year for King of Hammers. That was his, that was his move. And, um, I, I think the real move, the reason that he did that made that move was, is because, um, you know, if we run an hour and we have a really good race, maybe the last 10 minutes we're fighting, but it, it, <laughs> it, 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 you know, if it's an hour and a half, it's, it's, you know, it's 40 minutes of hell. We're, 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 we're up each other. So, um, you know, on a really long race like that, it, it, um, you know, he, he kind of opted out. It just didn't know if he was going to have a ride back to the pit or not. <laughs> so he said, he just didn't know if he wanted to walk out there in the desert alone. So, um, but man, Jeremy, he, you know, he, he, uh, he, you uh, made me run two miles. Yeah, he, he, uh, he, he's got me covered on that rock stuff. He, he sees it differently. And, um, you know, he's, he, he's, you know, we're going to be ready this year. I, I'm, we're we're going to be ready that's all there is to it but that is uh it's neat man we're gearing up you know it's it's um it's hard because we're back here on the east and it's cold and you know it's 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 just hard to even think here you know and you know less than a month or so that we're going to be on the lake bed so um you know we're really looking forward to it but you know, I said, Gary, we got to plug up a heater here, man. It's too, it's too, you know, it's too cold up here in the front of this building. So I'm sitting here. With we got a, heater. we got a heater on blast. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Blast so, um, you know, but, uh, but you know, the, the West coast guys, they get a little bit of an advantage like that, but then, you know, if there's a section where, you know, it is a little off camber, a little bit, you know, a little bit tight or something like that. I think your East coast guys got a little advantage for that. So yeah, see what happens. Yeah. Is there really a difference between, how the west coast guys build their cars versus how you guys do um you know i i, I still run my car a little on the stiffer side i would think um you know they um i just i have tested uh gary's got shocks in that's been built for out west and i've tested them and it's just not my driving style i don't like a car like that but um but you know probably maybe in the rocks you know maybe that articulation and that you know the marshmallow feel, feel that we say. You know, there's a lot of guys that can drive a car like that, but um, I, that's just not my setup. But um, 
you know, I think if they brought that set up, and I, I think a few of them done, did this past year at uh, AOP, um, you know, I, I think what we have is, uh, is really good for what we do. I'll throw in on this one. Uh, I'm, I may get fired for this one too, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna tease a little bit on your podcast here. So here's the here's the first shout of it, right? Like uh, you'll see some new stuff coming from this guy right here, just in this area. Some new cars, some new technology. Pay attention to it. It's gonna be hot. I like it. I like it, uh, and when it is released, if if you want to come on the show, man, and talk about it, um, you guys are mentioned so often when I have UTV drivers on. You know what I mean? I have a, uh, you know, I I interview all of them, bouncer drivers, you know, UTV drivers doesn't matter, and uh, all, you know, when I get the UTV drivers on there, nine times out of ten they're mentioning CA Tech. You know, Paul Wolf, Wade Good, um, all these guys, you know, so. Think, think, beyond, think beyond suspension now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, hey, oh, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying CA Tech is. For you, Nick. Just for you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Exclusive. You got the exclusive first content. No extra charge either. They don't charge. They won't be that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love it when I get those text messages that are like, hey, the buggy's done. Can I come on the show? You know, and I'm like, yes, yes, absolutely. I love, I love reveals like that for sure. Um, you know, we're kind of going in a little different direction, and I'll, I'll, I'll get you, maybe throw a little insight there on what Jeremy does. But you know, like um, back in the day, Gary and John and I built a car, um, rolled it in the shop, 14 days we raced it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we would get a cage, like there was a mass produced cage or someone would come in and help us i see you got a shirt on skinny pedal Mm -hmm. fab you know he built this one uh jason watt built us a real nice car last year um and what we've got going on in this um um that's coming out pretty soon here you know with uh with uh with the team that we're we're working on and and uh we got some really neat stuff coming out that that there's along the way you know um you just can't forget about these people that's helped you all along, all these sponsors and the people that's come up, you know, and uh, there's been welders that work all day at the Eastman and come out and, you know, John's friends and weld at the house. And, you know, these, all the, all these people that's behind the scene that makes this, makes this possible for us to go out there and do this is, you know, they're just, um, you don't want to forget these people from year to year because it's not, it's, it's not, you know, we're looking for that change. We're looking for that little edge, just like all the other drivers are out there. So you just keep, you know, you just keep changing and doing stuff that's different. And our racing style has changed. We're we're racing different types of races, you know. And, uh, um, you know, we may even get to go way west, is what I hear maybe, but I'm not I'm not for sure. But um, so. Um, uh, My boat's way south. Way south, yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's <laughs> go. <Next show. laughs> yeah. so, we'll see. So we. Um... You mentioned, uh, you know, beyond hammers. Okay, so uh, 2022 coming up. Um, what do you guys think? I'm wearing a Visions hat. What do you guys think of the events uh, at Mid America? What do you think about all that? You know, Mid America. You know, with with everything Jason Rick and everybody out there. I mean, that is an unbelievable racing facility. You know, everybody there top notch. Uh, Putting on visions that first year, this first week they did this last year, you know, had an unbelievable turnout. I think everybody had a great time. Uh, we had some unfortunate things happen, of course, and, and we didn't didn't fare very well on Jamie's side. But, you know, I, as far as G-Force, we had a lot of guys out there that did very well. But as far as the facility, I mean, and the things that's moving forward that, that we see now with you know, ultra four tie-ins with some new, you know, racing programs, things like that. Uh, I mean, that's the growth in the future of the sport. I mean, they're, they're such a, I I wish it was closer. I mean, we're in Tennessee, they're in Oklahoma. I wish it wasn't 14 hours. I mean, uh, we hope, you know, honestly, it's coming year and a season, you know, we, you know, we want to be a big part of, uh, you know, mid America, with the off-road park, you know, as, as, you know, JT's involved helping. In yeah. J, JT's there now. I think, uh, Jeremy said, uh, who's JT with, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, they, they've done such a great job, 
you know, there at that facility. And, and I don't think, you know, we've seen the end of that. I mean, they're, they're growing and changing. And uh, I know I, I've had the ability to build a few suspension setups for a lot of guys for there. And even, you know, uh, you know, it, it's, if you want to go race every type of UTV event or any type of terrain, go to mid America. I mean, we can, we can jump our buggy. We can climb our buggy. You know, we can go fast. We can go slow. We can do anything we want to do go through the mud it doesn't matter you can do it at mid-america and then when you get tired of that let's just go cruise around the lazy river yeah yeah you know? and <laughs> cool down a let's go spend bit. family time yeah i mean it's it, it it's a great part you know family the whole entire, so, all the above. you know it's you know you've got a great concept going oh yeah it's great awesome. concept awesome yeah uh so they have an event that I, I, I kind of wanted to ask a driver, uh, race team f- for that matter. They have an event that is um, it's Hammers and then the National Rock Racing Association. I'm going to be in Texas. Uh, and then they have an event that's like right after that. It's, it's a few weeks after um, King of the Hammers. Is that something that you guys will attend? That's currently not on our schedule that we've been able to look at. I mean, just because of, you know, going to California and getting everything back. I mean, I, I would say if it was coordinated, probably closer to where it's like, hey, that's on our way home. <laughs> We're going to stop here and, and make this happen and keep going, yeah. you know, would probably be. But, you know, I think that's somewhere at the end of February, Yeah. you know, so – but, you know, everything is now kind of open, even in some of the 2022. You know, I know Jamie and I are always talking, you know, what are we going to, you know, what's our race schedule this year? You know, yeah. we, we try to get this stuff together for our families, for our wives, for everybody else. We try to figure out, you know, where are we definitely going to do? Where are we going? Uh, what's all the big stuff? Yep. You know, 2019, John, Jamie, and I, we traveled and raced 31 events. Yeah. And... It was absolutely just, that was a lot, Yeah. you know. Uh, then in 2020, of course, with the whole COVID and everything, there wasn't as much racing. You know, we, we still were able to race, you know, Ultra 4. Yeah. Uh, Jamie was the overall national champion. And uh, then we, we raced some Renegade Series that year, also filled it in a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, went into 2021. So. Now in 2022, of course, we're going to, you know, be racing the Ultra 4, and we hope, you know, we're going to be able to hit some some of the Mid-America events and whatever they tie in with the Southern event, like they're, I know they're looking at making Eastern and Southern series and things like that. Uh, you know, so. Viva Las Mexico. <laughs> Come on. San, you know, Jer- Jeremy's all about Come trying on. to get to Mexico, but, uh, you know, we. uh you know, yeah. I, I think Jamie really enjoyed Mid America. You know, getting to go race there, and I, I'm sure we're gonna definitely try to make more events at Mid America, uh, especially for Visions. But you know, if we can make more events and more, you know, attend more races there, you know, we definitely want to. So, do you have any interest at, at that short course style racing, Jamie? That they have that's their major series, the MAO series. You know, I love that. Uh, um, you know, that would be a lot easier um, for us to uh, set up some cars for that particular style yep. of racing. Yep. There's just nothing that's very close to us. So <clears throat> we have to do what we do. So, um, but um, we, uh, we we probably have a car pretty soon for that. So uh, nice. I, I really like it. I think, I think you need... Um, um, to do some testing and practicing on that style of racing. And, um, uh, I've just never been able to do that, but, um, I, uh, it, it's really fun, man. It's like, it, it, you know, the, the car setup was, um, you know, I just, I couldn't believe that I could get that type of traction and, and, you know, and, and really feel the car hooked up. It was, it was really neat. So, um, I, I, I like it. Um, but, um, it comes at you really fast when you're used to being in the woods. Mm-hmm. And that, that was one thing that, that uh, when it, when it comes to race, I was really ready to get back where it gave me just a little bit of woods with it. And then, you know, uh, our car caught on fire, but um, <laughs> I, I really wanted that race. I thought, I thought that race was mine to win. To, to win. Yeah. 
no doubt. Or even, but um, I felt very confident they threw enough enough woods in there that let me be where I needed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And now with the uh, extra room that they're going to have, uh, the racing is just going to keep getting better. Keep getting better oh, yeah. out there. You know. Um, Michael McPherson says, is that what your Hannah call it beyond suspension? Does that make sense to anybody? Repeat that. Says, is, is that what your Hannah call it beyond suspension? Michael McPherson. Not sure, Michael. You'll have to elaborate on that yeah, one a little bit. I don't... Uh, I, I thought maybe that was an inside joke, but uh, I guess not. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, spell, spell, spell check one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, James, James Cantrell, though. Now, that's a group of characters right there. Uh, I've had James on the show several times. Great, great guy. Great guy. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I saw you guys uh, together. And, Jamie, I saw you at Rush, you know, giving other drivers uh, – advice on what you thought was the better lines you know um that's very cool man that you know yeah. I, I, He's I, gonna I, be that's right james always shows up a tad bit late <laughs> <laughs> he really don't know where to go and and, and, and uh you know he uh Someone we, we was talking that he was uh he was trying, trying to figure out what we did when we went over that side and uh you know I, I want to beat him on his tires. I don't want to beat him on his lid. So yep. I said, James, you need to go right down there to the bottom of the hill. So I, um, yep. you know, just, just, just a great guy, man. Just uh, it's my pleasure to always help him yep. for sure. I, I got to say that most of the people, all of the people actually that I have on this show that race in the race series that we all know, uh, all of them are like that. They want to beat you at your best, not when – you're broke or, or whatever. They'll take parts out of their spare parts uh, to help other drivers get to the starting line, and, and I love that, man. I, I do. I really do. Um, I don't know. You had that Papa Poe fellow. You had that Papa Poe guy. I don't know. Let's start another good show. <laughs> Shout out to Andy Ewing for keeping us fed, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Love you guys. Uh we made it nicer for you guys, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Um, Billy McGrath says that's a lot of travel, definitely dedicated. Uh, I agree, Billy, absolutely. F 42 races, you said, 41, 42 races uh, in a season? 30? 30, 30, still, oh, yeah. still, what, 30. you know, still a lot of that. 32 weekends out of, you know. Yeah, no, 32 weekends, weekends out of the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, some of some of those though we yeah, were getting double, some double, some of those we were getting up, three yeah. races and some some of them were two, uh, some of them, there was a couple of them was three and two days. a couple of weekends we were at one race facility on a Friday night, a different one on a Saturday, and a different one on Sunday. Wow. Actually, I can, I can take one race. Dirty turtle. Yeah, we would have went. Dirty turtle. Sorry. You want to tell that story? We would have went one one one. We would have went one 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 in Kentucky. I won the. I won the endurance. Four. Uh, yeah, I won the endurance race. Um, had a really good race, uh, and we come back and did a short course race in the dust. And I, I zapped him on the last section in the dust. And uh, uh, so we were uh, two. For, we, we were two for two, and they throwed me in the, throwed me in a the truck. They already had AXC, AX, yeah, IXCR, IXCR, yeah, IXCR already, yeah. and um, had Nathan Wolf was there. Yeah, we we uh, we hadn't raced any of them races, so we started from the back and it was a brand new car and I was really excited about it and, and uh, really wanted to get it in the woods and uh, I timed it out so not only did we start last but we were really last but we uh, we lapped the field and then I let we, John take it. Uh, we had one more we, had, we were on the last lap not too far much you know not even half a lap to go and there's a Yamaha that was hurt that was in front of us going pretty slow and uh Jamie said he always says blow the horn, blow the horn, and I, and I don't like to blow the horn. I like to you know get sneak up on them. Maybe there's a spot, then you kind of scare them because I'm used to I do a lot of desert racing too. So you know if they know you're behind you, they'll jackrabbit you. It makes them go faster when you start blowing the horn. 
So I always want to wait the last minute. Well, he's blowing the horn. Well, he reaches over and starts blowing the horn himself. <laughs> and instead of waiting, I said, Jamie, there's a big old section up here, like a meadow. It opens up. We can pass in here in just a little bit. Blow the I'll blow the horn. So he's blowing the horn. <laughs> the guy barely gets over enough. Jamie runs up the side of him, catches the, the right rear tire, my, my rear tire, and shears it off on the last lap, you know, about, I don't know, half a mile, a mile to go. And uh, we ended up losing that race. So. That's where I had to delay the awards. And you had to delay the awards. These two guys were calling my phone, and I'm I'm working the race at Dirty oh, Turtle. Yeah. And they're like, delay the awards. We're on the way back. We want that first place. we got to have it for Can Am. And I'm delaying awards in ceremony, putting UTV like way uh, back in the back of it. Yeah. But Jeremy had a little taste of that too, a hammers. You know, Jamie does not like to sit still. He likes to keep moving, which is a good yeah. thing. You know, he always wants to be passing somebody. But sometimes, you know, you might need to oh. back off just a little bit. And I, I knew that me and Jamie was not going to make a seven-hour race before uh, coming to blows with each other. So, little did you know that Talladega Nights was brought up by the. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to them. He just wants to race. Just go fast. He doesn't know what to do with his hands. So he's going to go fast. <laughs> That was kind of the reason why I asked that earlier, you know, what drives you? I really, because uh, I've had some very talented drivers. Uh, a lot of the people that you're mentioning have been on this show before, and, and I always like to ask them, you know, and try to figure out what it is that just makes you push and push and push and uh, I, I I think it's very interesting. I think it's very cool. I because I did the same thing uh, in the military. You know, you really need to, Gary. You know, you got to push yourself. You got to do things that you never thought that you could ever do. Um, and you're doing that in a race car. You know, it, going through the woods with trees and rocks and everything flying by you, man. Um, you know, uh, I have a lot I mean, of respect. I'll just say this: I don't, I don't know. I mean. You know, Jamie, most, a lot of people don't know. I mean, he, he does own his own business and he, he works really hard. Uh, when we're all in bed, a lot of times Jamie's up at three or four o'clock in the morning yep. already at work. Yep. You know, so I, I really feel like, you know, it, as hard as he works and as hard as he still works, mm -hmm. you know, what we do racing, I mean, it's just, it, you know, it's an unbelievable, you know, just keeps him going and going and going. Yep. So, absolutely. Uh, it's like I said, there's, there's no quitting, you know? That's right. You know, yeah. and we, we talked about that, Jamie. We, you said you surround yourself with people who are going to, you know, you're going to finish a mission, right? You know, that's, that's like, I know I keep going back to the military terms, but, but that's what it is. That's what's happening, you know? And uh, I think this has been amazing because I never get a race team on it's always the driver you know and and he or she thanks uh everybody that helps but we never hear from everybody else you know so this is uh this has definitely been different we have been going for about an hour which is uh normally where um you know we end up but i i have no problem going on if you got more to tell if if there if we haven't talked about everything jamie or anybody uh for that matter um and and also i know that you, you guys have a lot of other companies who are not present uh who should be thanked and and uh obviously it takes some time to do that as well what do you guys think we got some of them like here in the back on the sign we got blood racing back here i mean they're you know blood lubricants mm -hmm. they've been instrumental in our program for years uh awesome. you know with, with their fluids you know, we, we here at G-Force, you know, have worked with blood to design our own suspension fluids, you know, even outside of what, you know, gets sold to the public. And, uh, you know, concentrating on heat factors and shear factors and just everything what we want, especially. But, you know, as far as, you know, the, the lubricants they brought in for, you know, the motors and the diffs and, and, you know, now they've got diesel fluids and aerosols and chain lubes and, I mean, you about name it, detailing things. I mean, it's, it, and, you know, the guys there have just been, you know, really, really great to work with. You know, I know Warren Winches, you know, we, we can't thank them enough too, because they, you know, anytime we're using, uh, you know, their, their, their winches and things. I mean, we, you know, I know, you know, we stay in contact with them and, you know, 
uh, I mean, it's, it's some of the best on the market ever. Yep. And, and you can't ask for, you know, faster, stronger, better. I mean, and that's what Jamie said earlier. I mean, the, he feels that the parts that are on his cars are the best uh, that he physically needs and, and, and can abuse, you know, to, to push that limit, right. you know, to be who he wants to be in the race to push the car. So right. no fail, uh, no fail parts. No, no fail. Right. I mean, it's, you know, James was talking MRT tires. I mean, right. like such a great group. I mean, these guys, I mean, the product, uh, durability, you know, everything that's, you know, with, with that side of that program, you know, everything we've done with Eric, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we got tons of, of great companies like race driven, you know, that, have, that have been out there helping us with, you know, brake rotors and brake pads, you know, Brian and that crew up Michigan, you know, they're, you know, got a big footprint in, uh, you know, a lot of the short course racing, Crandon, ERX doing things like that. And, and they have a great product. I mean, uh, you know, we try to push anybody out there. I mean, they're, they're brake pads and, and they're rotors. I mean, they're thicker, stronger, they're a great product at a great price. So, uh, I see we've got, uh, yeah, I mean, like just with Ox off road with halo thirties, I mean, that is, you know, a product that a lot of guys know that's climbing and, and a lot of weekend guys, you know, they, they like to, to run that type of product. And, you know, we, you know, we got to give a lot of thanks to the guys at Ox, you know, and for the halo, I mean, they, they build a product that, you know, if you're going to find something indestructible, that's where we want to go with it. I mean, because they have one strong differential. And, uh, Evo, right? yeah, Evo. Yeah. Evolution Power Sports has been very instrumental in, you know, creating the power and, and you know. Uh, yes. I, I was yeah. at a race. I was All at a race uh, up in Pennsylvania, and, and um, uh, we kind of tuned out. They tuned out. The uh, dead engine start, and um, it was. Uh, uh, he, I think he was on vacation, and and he, he he wrote a tune and emailed it back to Jason and John, and they put it in the car, and uh, we had a dead dead engine start tune. Uh, just you know, just really all about the racers, man. You know, you just, it, uh, you know, that's why I use them. That's that's why you use them companies. You know, you call them. They know normally if we call and it's on a Friday or a Saturday, we're at a race. We really need them, and they answer the phone. So that that, that really means a lot. It really does. Yeah. On vacation, that's yeah. That's uh. Yeah. That's Sip a margarita. Think, from think Mexico. Mexico. Call, 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 call <laughs> Mexico. I think he keeps coming up. <laughs> Mexico. I think he's talking about the other side of Mexico. Uh, yeah. 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 It's really cool. Yeah. They. <laughs> yeah. They built some bad fast cars. You know, that's that's one thing you can say about them. I mean, they're they got some great tuning. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, if uh, I don't want to interrupt on the thing, but if I don't say this, I'll probably lose it. Uh, <laughs> speak. It, it'll, speak. Be, it'll be gone forever. Um, <laughs> one of the things I know that we haven't talked about is uh, I, we've mentioned it a little bit. I know, I know Max home watching. Um, and they've talked about the, you know, telling the schedule to the wives and to the friends and, and family, let them know. But I think that is a, a really, really big part of what we do. Um, I know I, I talk about it all the time, and, and Jamie's all the time talking about, you know, how our company has grown and where we've went to and where we've come from. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how I could have done this had it not been for good people in general, and that's family, that's friends, that's uh, – and even the people that probably didn't really believe in you. Um, along the way, you know, those, sometimes those people push you harder than the people that do sometimes. Um, and, and so I, I think the focus on that, you know, in my instance, uh, uh, you know, since I've started this company and working two or three jobs, my wife's put up with that the entire time. I got two beautiful boys at home, uh, that she's able to go and do with them. So that's, that's a major blessing. And if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for that, uh, coupled with the, the friends and all the people that work back at our company that, you know, Jamie's talking about the stuff that we're doing and what we're coming out with and all the big plans that we have, the new stuff and, and, and everything we're creating. If it wasn't for a good team of people, we'd never be able to do this. So uh, I, whether I get the punishment or the pleasure by sitting in front of the camera now, spin it however you will. But if it wasn't for that, none of us could do any of this. Uh, we don't do it by ourselves. 
and, and, and I think that's a big thing that I, I, we all value. Well said. Yeah, good call, man. And you know what? I hear that over and over and over again. Uh, people are so humble in this sport for the most part. And you know what? The people that aren't, uh, those people that tell you they can't, that you can't do it or it won't, you know, won't happen, they don't last long. You know what I mean? Uh, um, it, it takes fellas like all you guys sitting right here that uh, are driving that sport, man. And, and, um, you know, but yeah, again, well said, a- absolutely. Um, again, uh, I know I keep bringing it up, but going back to my service days, um, <clears throat> the unit was always very uh, strict on family time. Um, we had three day weekends or four day weekends every month, every single month, you know, but, you know, we were deploying every six or eight months, you know, so. Uh, they, they really took care of us and, uh, I, I'm sure Jamie, if, if part of your team had an issue at home that you guys would be just as supportive and, uh, make sure that they got what they needed for sure. So, um, Hey, listen, there's some folks that are tuning in, uh, chiming in here. Rodney Ur- Urbani, uh, says at a boy, super proud of you guys. Robert Boynton is asking if you guys are going to the Red Bull mountain scramble. Robert, it's good boy. Boy. Yeah, we might, we might, we might be able there's, to make There's that. some new and upcoming announcements. Okay, so all right, all right. Determined. Mm-hmm. 2022. That's probably, you know, okay. it's not ready to be released or come out. But there's a lot of new exciting stuff going to happen in 2022. So, come in January, going into hammers into February and things. We got going on. So we'll, you know, it might be even something we can, you know, make a phone call to Nick here and say, hey. We got something, something we're going to release. So, uh, yep. we'll get it out there. Just keep your eyes on social media and different platforms like that. And we'll try to get everything out there. Absolutely. Uh, John, I'm going to butcher this last name. Uh, is it Bowman or Bo- Bowman? B- Boffman. Bowman. Bo- yep. Hey. Yes. John, John Boffman is a good friend of ours with uh, Pirate MX. Okay. He says he needs a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> We got, him, we got him covered. We got half a gallon right now. We don't know, uh, <laughs> got him covered. Uh, take it to the top. Says good night, guys. Good luck, all drivers and the crew. May the Lord bless every one of you on your journey. Uh, I appreciate that, man. We appreciate all that. Um, well, speaking of that, listen. I, I tell everybody that comes on the show, and, and all you guys are included. If uh, if you guys ever want to come back on, I, I absolutely. We'll do whatever I can to make that happen. Um, you know, I definitely uh, appreciate you guys joining us. Papa Poe says, William loves you guys. Appreciate each of you. <laughs> appreciate each of you more than y'all know. See y'all soon. I was, miss, I was saving that William thanks for last, but he beat me to it. So. <laughs> nice job, William. Well, hey, man, uh, like I said, the, the floor is yours. I, I uh, you know, any... Anything you got, we'll be happy to uh, happy to oblige. I, kind of I think it's kind of cool, you know. We got you know Jamie McCoy from West Virginia. You know, started racing when he was kind of in his should have been in his prime kind of thing, and and uh, we kind of started the bottom, and now we're getting interviewed by guys like you. You know, just he uh, got to thank him and Gary for uh, building this little adventure they had, and and uh, actually helping the whole other community too as well with the with the product so it's a kind of a wild little story for those guys you know yep. one big family yeah yeah no <clears throat> doubt about it uh there is no reason why there isn't a uh a docu-series about J- <laughs> jamie mccoy racing <laughs> john well john clearly there is it's happening with mccoy right? <laughs> <laughs> John, John sent me and Jamie and, and Jeremy, all of us, a, a, a group text the other night that said, why did we not start a YouTube channel <laughs> back in 2012 when we started racing yep. and had cameras following you and Jamie and all this around this whole time? Yep. He said, he's like, we'd be millionaires. Yep. Just, everybody would have so much fun yeah. watching these videos. I was thinking about know? that one. Of- and I'm sitting here thinking in my mind, well, 
you know, most of the time we can't even show the GoPro footage. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you when we, we bought a little Polaris can back in the uh, day, and it was just a little hot rod, and we had a really fast little car. And we we went up lay up north and just on a whim, just showed up, didn't have no place to stay or nothing. Had, had, had to go race the race and come home. We probably didn't have enough money to stay, but we, um, so we, we get there and we talk to the promoters a little bit. Hey, where do they line up and this and that? And the guy says, uh, you know, we start lining up here in, in an hour. And, uh, so we go ahead, we got the car up there and everything. And, uh, we, we roll back to the pitch, you know, we kind of hang around for about 30 minutes and we think, ah, we'll get up there a little bit early. You know, we get up there and there's like 40 cars already lined up. And so we're like all the way on the end. Well, this car starts really fast and it's a real fast little car, man. And so we get a really good jump and we come in and the guy hits us and just knocks us. No, I said go left. No, that was after that. And, and uh, we, get, we, get, we, get, we get wadded up. And we, and so They're arguing on the podcast. Little on the car. <laughs> there's, I mean, the I mean, there's, there's dust like flying, man, everywhere. And so like I'm, I am madder than a hornet. They just tore up my brand new car. And I'm like, I ain't got nothing in my mind but just going to the front. And I'm flying down this thing. And all of a John says, left, man. And I slammed the brakes on and turned her left. And I mean, just got it, just got it slowed down to start over this. And I'm like, man, I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. <laughs> the guy hits me broadsided, man. And I'm like, oh my gosh, John, we tore this brand new car up again. So we get going and we're, we, we get going again through the woods. And I make about five craziest passes. You could ever believe and i'm like i'm just just man. bouncing off stuff just losing my mind and and then all of a sudden the car just starts getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and i'm like what is going on and i i jump out of the car and i said john i ain't even got no wheel <laughs> oh, <laughs> i have a wheel we got a seven minute race <laughs> seven minutes. Yeah. that all happened seven minutes. yeah so a guy comes up on a bike he, he's you know the, you the, the guy wheel. like hey man can you go find my wheel I got time to find your wheel. Oh, Lord. So many stories. So many stories. Man. No doubt. There's your podcast for after KOH. You put a GoPro camera. You have all kinds of content that you want. Everything you need. <laughs> uh, we'll just have that we're gonna have that beep you'd be like we're, not, um, we're gonna have an go? <laughs> we're gonna have uninventable king of hammer it's just gonna be like right yep good sit the office just you know talking on the telephone <laughs> easy peasy yeah. Just chill. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey when are y'all hey, heading out how how soon are you guys going i know hammertown opens up pretty soon doesn't it uh, uh, okay. yeah always opens mlk Okay. Well, they, the team gets out there MLK. Okay. And then it opens like the 28th. Okay. I think we're going to get there on the 26th or something. Yeah. Pre-run a little bit on the other side, maybe on the 27th. Yeah. Sixth, and then start start the real pre-run on the 27th. <clears throat> It's all secret, man. Come on. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to the 30th. Did I say the 30th? <laughs> yeah. We're going to be We're running late. Yeah. yeah, what day is yeah. the race? The 4th? We'll be there. Yeah. 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 You're there for the qualifying day only. Yeah. yeah. We don't need to pre run. Slide inside. Oh. I get a lot of that yeah. where I poke and pry and try to get information out of, out of people and, uh, <laughs> This is supposed to be a, a news show, kind of. You know what I mean? A racing news show. So, <laughs> man, this has been <laughs> this has been great, y'all. Is there uh, is there anything else that we missed uh, before we sign off? Appreciate you doing. Yeah, the podcast. we appreciate you bringing us on, having Good us. Stuff. Good stuff. We enjoyed it. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, um, and I, I really feel like there's so much more. Uh, so, um, really, I'm, I'm serious. You know, maybe a check in uh, after Hammers and, and maybe after a, an Ultra Four race or two. Um, real, real quick, uh, can you give us an overall of where we're going to see you guys racing this year? Not like dates, but like, uh, you know, we're going to do all Pro Rock, we're going to do all Ultra Four type of thing? Yeah, well, we're, you know, Ultra fours in our, you know, okay. what our sites are on our contract. So we'll definitely be running ultra four events, okay. uh, you know, chasing the next, uh, championship yep. in ultra four. Okay. So, uh, 
yeah, we're definitely gonna try to hit you know some events at Mid America. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely like to support Joey and Pro Rock. Okay. You know, I think he, you know, he puts on some great events and has some great facilities and tracks to ride. Yeah, uh, yeah. he works hard, no doubt about it. Yeah, here on the East Coast, it's great. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Jeremy. Jeremy keeps talking about Mexico, so I don't know. We might have some sombreros and San Felipe. <laughs> But, uh, you know, hopefully this year, you know, this last, this 2021, we didn't travel west or north as much as far as uh, in Ultra 4 in the series. Uh, but, you know, I think maybe this coming season, you know, we might have some time. Hopefully we can, you know, hit some more races in maybe the northern Ultra series or maybe toward the west coast a little bit more, you know, to try to, you know, help uh, help us wrap up that uh, 2022, you know, overall title, championship title. Uh, you know, we want to, you know, thank Can Am, and we always like at the end of the year to be able to come back and say, hey, you know, this is this is what we accomplished. We went and did, you know, did some work and, uh, you know, did our job, and we appreciate them. So, uh, but we want to, you know, we want to support and, and, and let everybody know, you know, that helps us, you know, that's, that's a lot of the reason you say, why do you do what you do? Well, you know, when we go to work, you know, we look at the, being at the racetrack and racing, you know, kind of it's like a job. You're having fun, but it's a job. So, you know, these guys that are helping support us and helping support Jamie and his endeavors in racing, uh, even Eric and everybody. I mean, we, we've got to go put the effort in to give back to those guys for the effort they put into us. So that's why we go race. Yeah very cool stuff man and then it just keeps pushing and pushing and 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 making making these vehicles better and making you guys drive able to drive faster and uh pushing these race series to like you mentioned joey building a good course you know it pushes those guys to challenge you now because the cars are getting so much faster and and able to handle so much more it's um you know epic stuff hey listen where can folks find you where can they follow you as uh 2022 kicks off i think that's probably gonna be a pretty loaded question uh i oh, think it's on my, like a facebook page or? yes right yep yep so that, that will be one of the things that i know they talk about stuff that's changing yep um that will kind of go along with some of that there's there's uh um there's gonna be a lot that's gonna come out for the first of the year um okay. and I know you mentioned several times about coming back on. I think that would probably be something pretty good that we could do at some point. Yeah. Yep. You know, maybe communicate with you about what we got. And and the reason being exactly that, that we've got a lot of stuff that we're, you know, us as a team, everybody's planning out, everybody's talking about. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, we're going to make this whole entire thing be the best that it can be. Good. Um, and, and it's going to go harder, faster, and better than it ever has. Yep. And uh, so I, I think that's probably one of the things that we can, we can hit on a little bit later, where they can follow us and how and who and, you know, all of that. Uh, of course, you know, um, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think that was definitely where it Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, even, even, even now, they can, you can get us on G-Force Racing, CA Tech, yep. you know, Jamie, you know, Jamie McCoy Racing Development. Right. Yeah, uh, yep. good. You know, perfect. all these things are tied in currently, yep. you know. Uh, we'll always try to be posting things out, and I'll try to share stuff, too. And uh, John Boy jumps in there and shares some stuff. And uh, then, then – even after the fact, there's going to be some new stuff we can get everybody tied in with. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, before before we leave there, that you know what we talk about this, uh, um, you know the things that we've accomplished and this and that. And I, uh, I, 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 I just got to say that Can Am X3 just gives you the confidence to do so much. It's it's it really is, in my opinion, the best race machine right now. It is bad to the bone. Yep. Um, you know, we, we do our little dues to it, but, um, you know, my cars are really nice. They're, they're, uh, they're just really fun to drive. It's my pleasure. You know, that, that, that is just a, it's, it's a great playing field. We showed up the first time in the Can-Am at one of those pro rock events. And, you know, we were talking to, I think I was talking to Simon after that. And I'm like, I'm sitting there in a lawn chair and I'm like, man, there's, 5,000 players has come driving through here, you know, and I was the only can am and I think there was a commander that it, it entered it or something like that or something. And, um, you know, less than a year's time, man, we, 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 we was uh, sweeping the podium, you know, we sold a lot of can am. So, um, you know, not saying that all the other companies haven't stepped up, but right now 
we're pretty happy with that Can Am X3. Uh, you know that to to start our race program with it's it's, it's pretty bad to the bone right out of the box. Yeah. That is it's so cool that that K and M is is uh, sponsoring you guys, man. Wow, I mean that's just ha- to to have a company as big as that, you know, you know. Yeah. We didn't know if we were gonna get it done this time. No, we? no, we're, we're, we're down to the wire. We're, we're, on, we're down to the wire for sure. Yeah, but that's cool. it's, but, it's good. You know, I, I I think they do that every year. I think they say, ah, we got McCoy. You know, don't worry about him. They're they're, they're getting somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's what I, yeah. I think that's what I told Eric. I said, ah, it don't matter. We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's right. yeah. I, I said, are you nervous? He said, nah, they, they don't give me one. I was go buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. It's all part of the story. <laughs> you know, that one don't need to be in there. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I, that's a blessing, man. That you just you really don't know. We're gonna. We're, uh, I, w- I wish this thing could flip around and watch us all leave. Every one of us will be hugging and t- <laughs> telling you love it, and we're not gay. I promise. We're no. we're, just, we're just rolling out, man. Yep. That's what we do. But I love that. Big old, big, old, big old shout to McKenzie. I see her doing that. All them little kids is doing that. Cool. I, I don't know if my baby's up. I hope she is. But, yep. but uh, it's really good, man. There's a lot of love sitting right here, and and we have a lot of fun. And um, yep. thank you so much for having us, man. And we'll we'll uh, we look forward to seeing you real soon. Yeah, my pleasure, man. You guys have a very good night. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to yeah. everybody. Yep. Happy New Year. Safe travels. Yep, absolutely. All right, y'all. Uh, real quick, Dirt Princess says, "Great show. Can't wait to work with you guys more." Uh, John says, "Add links to the video later." Uh, and just while you guys are on, uh, right, as soon as I hang up with y'all, I'm gonna put up, start uploading this to YouTube. I'll share links with with everybody john i uh, hope you're still watching so um it will be available we'll make sure that this is is out there for everybody to to watch because this was a good one i agree awesome yep thank you guys uh, Appreciate it. carla says call your mom john uh, carla says call your mom john have a good night y'all <laughs> see y'all <laughs> oh wow hey uh listen can I can't express to you guys enough how thankful, how blessed I feel to be able to be a part of this, uh, to be able to talk to uh, gentlemen like that. Um, wow, I, I'm just so thankful to to do this show, and I'm so excited for 2022. So excited for 2022. Um, hey, listen, I, uh, this, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be back. I, I am going to have some more shows, but, um, for everybody watching the new year is going to bring a lot of changes for the on the hill show. Okay. Uh, I can't, I can't give everything away yet. Uh, the show will continue on again. We are in the off season, so I wouldn't expect, uh, live shows as much, but, um, uh, I will say that Cash LaCroix Racing uh, is scheduled to be on the show coming up here uh, and uh, might have might have some other things in the works, some, maybe some buggy reveals. You know how I like to do things. Man, I love y'all. Thank you for joining us tonight. This was a great show. Uh, I absolutely love doing this. I can't believe this is kind of my job. I'm going to see y'all very soon. Okay, keep in touch. Message me uh, with uh, any feedback for this episode. I'm using a new microphone. Um, So, again, making some changes, but all for the better. All for the better. Everything is just getting better. So, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for 2022. All right, I'll see everybody soon.